All right. Uh, I'm going to call the February 4th um, License Commission meeting to order. It is now, I don't know what time, 4.02. Um, just uh, our obviously uh, video and audio reading this. Um, roll call would be uh, Brian Candelli, Natasha Yakolev, and Helen Kahn. Is there any public comment at this uh, time? I guess seeing none, we'll move on to item number three, which is application for new common VIC license. GZ Bagel Inc., DA Tandem Bagel Company, 1 North Main Street, Florence. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Can you state your name for the record, please? Uh, Christopher Zawaki. Okay, Christopher. Um, so you've got all your insurances and your paperwork in place. Yep, yep. We have our workers comp, everything added in. We're doing a little up, upgrades and uh, we're looking at sometime beginning of March. All right, great. Um, the Board of Health has got all their information. All the applications are in. Okay. All right, and now layout, anything, any major changes to that facility? No, the same. Um, we opened up the back room yeah. a little bit with the new wall, just moved the wall out. Otherwise, it's the same cafe that it's been for 10, 12 years. Well, it's not really the same. Okay. <laughs> it's a little different. For the most part, it's the same. <laughs> not Helen's, anyway. <laughs> Great. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt, Brian. I'm just curious. Lynn or Natasha, do you either have any questions? Just out of personal curiosity, what do you, which back wall are you opening up? Um, you know where the kid area was? Yes, I do. We basically shrunk that and made the back kitchen a little bit bigger. Oh, okay. That's yeah. it. Okay. Cool. Just pushed it out because we need a little bit more prep space in back. Yeah, totally get it. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, the rest of it's pretty much the same. Um, should I go ahead and make a motion or any other questions? I don't have questions. Yeah, I, I was asking if, I was asking if any of you guys had any questions. Nope, I'm all set. Do you want to make okay. a motion, Helen? Yeah. Yeah, so if you'd I'll, like to make a motion. Sure, I'll make a motion to approve the application for a new Colin Victoral license for GZ Bagel Inc., DBA Tandem Bagel Company at 1 North Main Street in Florence. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, I'm just going to do a quick roll call. Um, um, Brian? Yep. Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. Okay. All right. Can't wait for you to open. Good luck. All right. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Thank you. All right, you, Chris. all right, you all set? All set. Are you guys don't Yeah, it should be good. No, nope, right. you can go, you can leave. No, <laughs> enjoy your night. Thanks a lot, guys. All hey, right, bye. Time. Bye. Um, okay, item number four, draw a lottery winner for a special act liquor license previously by uh, BCT Inc., DBA Sierra Grill, Chapter 109, Acts of 2016. Uh, letters of intent, um, Highbrow Inc., DBA, Highbrow Wood Fired Kitchen and Bar, Zad Barat Inc., DBA India House, Paul and Elizabeth Inc., UNI Inc., DBA Moshi Moshi, MP Majestic Enterprises, LCC DBA, Majestic Saloon, Belly of the Beast Inc., and Loran LLC, DBA, The Dirty Truth. So I'll let you go ahead with this. I think we're going to have you draw, right? Is that the, uh, everybody here has gotten the letter, I presume, and they're familiar with what's gonna happen? Every, yeah, everyone has submitted their letter. Um, let me just, you guys wanna say anything before we start? Um, Annie, for the record. Yep. Should we just confirm that all of the applicants met all of the criteria? Please I know they did, everything. just for the yeah. record. Do you, do you want me to okay. 
Have you nope. actually put? What's up, Ryan? All right, so you're going to show each person's name being put in the hat, so to speak, and then you're yeah. going to uh, progress with the. Uh, okay. Yeah, Natasha, I'm sorry. What were Great. You What's that, Annie? I missed that. Sorry, what were you saying about confirming? I just wanted to was wondering if, for the record, if we should just confirm for the minutes that all of the applicants did meet the criteria that were set. Oh, okay, just verbally. Just verbally, yeah. Okay, I mean, I can confirm that they all meet the requirements. Great. Okay. Okay. So we have our little. Uh, oh. So Annie, sorry, it's hard to hear you. Oh, my computer volume is really bad. Um, now. That's a little better. Yeah, if you could start again, we couldn't hear Okay. You. I just wanted to just want to show you guys our little uh, bingo spinner that there's there's nothing in it here. I guess I'll stand on this side because my microphone's over here. So let's see, we have Moshi Moshi. Juan Elizabeth, India House, Hyber House, Dirty Truth, Justice Salon, and Belly the Beast. All right. So, what's just, just a quick suggestion. Um, being that they're all flat cards, yeah, and it looked like there was some pieces of flat wood. Maybe you should fold one just to give them a little more, you know, so they're not sticking together and they have a chance to actually move around. So okay. when the, you know what I mean? Just all a right. suggestion. All right, I'm gonna take them out then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, you know, you, you know what I'm saying, though, right? They could easily yeah, just, just lay on top of each other and spin with this. You want me to just fold them in half? Yeah, fold them and fold right. them in half. Okay. Throw them. Here again, we got. Yeah, just, you know, move around. Everybody to see. Okay. Any other suggestions? All good. Okay, I just want everyone to see that I'm not looking. And we have India House. Congratulations. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So now, um, would I? I'll be getting in touch with your office, Anne, to see uh, what. To yeah. Do. So now you'll need to submit an application for a transfer of license. Okay. Um. So you can, if you want to, give me a call tomorrow, and we can talk about it, or um, I can send over a checklist of everything that you're going to need. Yeah, that would be very helpful. Thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that in the next few minutes. All right. Thank you. We can go from there. Thank you. Can I? I, 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 this is my second Zoom call. Can I leave now? You can go. <laughs> You're done. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Congratulations. Okay. Okay. Sort of that being awkward, I think it was okay. Uh, that... Yeah. No, that seemed fine. Okay. Um, all right. Moving on. Clerk's update. Um, I just, I don't really have 
anything to add if, i mean anything really except for there's a few licenses that haven't renewed um a few common vix and a few lodging houses these are the typical individuals that are usually late so i will stay on them as per um and then the only other one that didn't renew that's a liquor license is taipei tokyo did not renew um, they just couldn't afford the renewal. Did fee. they send any reasoning? Yeah, they just, at this time, they just couldn't afford the renewal fee. So then what happens? Does that mean that okay. there's another liquor license available or is that? No, because it was a wine and malt. So we it just goes back to the state. I mean, because okay. the city can, there's that loophole that we have seasonal licenses that we can convert to annual. So people can get them. You look perplexed. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, that's that's with wine and malt. You're saying? Yeah. Okay. So if the, if it was an all, all alcohol, we would do what we could as the city to renew it so that it stays in place. Otherwise, the state takes it back and we never get it back. Right. But with wine and malts, there's still that loophole where people can get an annual wine and malt. Okay. So we haven't lost anything is what you're saying as a city. I mean, okay. technically, yes, but we but we can get it back. If somebody wants right. to apply and then convert from seasonal to annual, it, it'll be like essentially the same. Okay. Got it. So that's that's all that's really all I have for license renewal updates. Okay. Um, item six, approval of minutes, November 4th, 2020. Yeah. Um, were you there, Brian, for that one? I, it may have been. Okay. I didn't look at it. And um, if I was, I didn't look at either. Well, I figured as much, but um, so then you should just abstain. Uh, let me just make sure everyone else was here. Um, uh, it looks like Brian arrived at 402 on the November. Yeah, you both were here for December. Brian arrived a little late for November, but since he didn't read them, then he should just abstain anyways. Mm -hmm. Well, I abstain. Well, not yet. So um, either Helen or uh, just, Natasha so, can make a motion. So I'll make a motion to approve the uh, November 4th, 2020 and December 2nd, 2020 minutes. A second. Uh, I abstain. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, roll call. Brian. Uh, Helen. Oh. No, I'm just going to do a uh, roll call. Brian. Okay. Uh, Here. So what, is, what is your vote? I abstain. Thank yeah. you. Uh, Natasha? Yes. I have to. I have seen. And how I'm not coming through. No, we got it, Brian. And yes for me for roll call. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, December 2nd. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for December 2nd. Oh. Sorry, second. Uh, Sorry, I, I was trying to do two in one swoop. <laughs> um, Brian? I abstain. Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. Thank you. Okay. And number seven. Uh, Are you ready? They're coming through. I asked if there's any new business. Oh, um, hear me? Yes. I have nothing. It's the new, is there any? Okay, so a Natasha, motion to do adjourn. Do you have any new business? Nope. No. 